Hi there everyone, my name's Chris, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Arcteryx Leaf uh, Law Enforcement and Armed Forces Talos uh, Trousers or Pants for you, uh, for you American types. Now, I've got two examples here, we've got the Multicam and the Wolf Grey. So we're going to start off looking at the front here in the Multicam. Obviously this is just an overview, uh, it's my sort of initial overview. They cost a fucking lot of money, uh, so I'm going to be going over these initially today. I'm going to have to wear them a few times, try them out in different scenarios, see how they actually perform before uh, obviously I make any judgments and say whether they're good or bad, this is going to be running through the features. So as I say, starting off on the front of the multicam, I'm going to work from the bottom. First, uh, you've got inbuilt gaiters, both legs, they're just the normal nylon cotton material, they're not like waterproof or anything, so they're not like your sort of uh, heavy duty gaiters that you just strap on around your boots, they're just for sort of keeping crap up from uh, going up your ankles. Shock cord, bungee, little cord lock on here. And, uh, as you can see, you've got these, these extra baffles, as it were, inside the base of each leg. Moving up, we've got the knee pads, or the, the knee pad uh, storage area, as it were. On the outside, what you've got is this wide strip of webbing. Now, obviously, the comparison people are going to make with these, given the price and the style, is to the Cry Gen 3 Combats. The Arcteryx knee caps, which are the, the, the uh, separate standalone knee pads they make, they can be attached to these in a similar ish way to the Cry's, but what you actually do is you put the knee caps up inside. There's a pocket inside here, and they will sit behind the outer layer of fabric. The, the straps then come out of these pockets uh, and go around your leg. So the, the actual plastic and the foam of the knee pad stays inside the material of the trouser now. To my mind, this isn't a very good idea. I mean, on the one hand, this webbing stuff is extremely durable, and you'd have to spend a lot of time kneeling on, on rocks and concrete and stuff to wear through it, but it will eventually wear through, and at that point, you've got to, you've just really got to replace the whole trouser. I suppose you could sew on, like, stitch, maybe another strip of webbing on the top, and that would probably give you some more life, but whereas obviously the, you fit the combat uh, knee pads into the cries, and then that plastic sits on the outside of the fabric. So then when the knee pads wear out, you just swap those and the trousers themselves are still fine. But anyway, next up is the, the main cargo pocket. So that's your thigh pocket. Interesting, the flap is sort of sewn, where it, whereas it's kind of loose at the sides on, on most like combat cut type uh, trousers, these, the actual sides of the flaps are sewn down. And they're, they're quite an interesting shape to them. They have one baffle at the side here so they can expand a bit. You've got uh, this teardrop shape type Velcro for the opening. And then you've got a, a pretty good amount of room inside of there. I'm not sure they're the best. Again, I think Cry does these better because there's another baffle which gives you more space. And I find that having this, this edge sewn down like that, I mean, it, it depends what you want. It gives you a bit more security for the items inside, but then it's also not quite as easy to get into because you can't open the flap all the way up and then get down into the pocket. It only just opens slightly. Again, I think with a bit more testing, I'll find out you know, how those actually perform in the real world. Standard front trouser pockets, pretty deep cut, so they're nice and accessible. That's good. Double press stud at the top of the fly, and then you have a YKK zip on the fly itself. Nice wide belt loops, two inch to accept a wide variety of duty and rigged belts. Uh, the main material that's all made out of is a nylon cotton blend, pretty much a standard fabric. Uh, they're not flame resistant, which is a shame for the price, but then neither are the standard cries and, and they cost similar. So. Last thing to mention is the these little elastic points that you see up here, uh, and those are for uh, use of like a harness or sort of dungarees type arrangement, so you can you can have a you can have something to, to really keep them up if uh, if your belt isn't doing the job. I'm, this is something you tend to see more with like hunting gear, like they love these for, for putting like elastic straps over to really keep your trousers held up. I'm kind of surprised to see them. I'm, I can't see myself using them again. This is that's what belts are for. But you know, there we go. Mm -hmm. Little logo, Arcteryx logo, just embroidered on there on your, your right leg pocket. So we'll move on to the rear on the Wolf Grey here. Again, some, some nice large belt loops, and 
you've got your, your slash pockets at the back, whereas the cries are zipped here. These are again the sort of teardrop sheet Velcro. And then they're fairly narrow and again the sides of them are sewn down. So stuff's less likely to fall out, but I, I think they're not as easy to get into. Again, the see we've got a fair, fairly deep pocket on there, so good for your keys and stuff. I prefer the zips on the prize because then when you put like small items in those there, you know that 100% secure. Whereas obviously Velcro, um, it's a, it's very unlikely stuff would come out, but it's nice to have 100% security for those those smaller crucial items here. And this is a, it's got some color matched Cordura uh, here material. And that is a knife pocket. So when you are putting your everyday carry knives in and out. We're not going to wear out the fabric when you're repeatedly putting it in and out of there. As with a lot of Arcteric stuff, uh, to a large extent what you're paying for is the amount of, sort of man hours and the, the number of panels that they use to make up these things. Most uh, you know, most garments, most apparel in general, they use the minimum number of actual panels of fabric to, to make them up. Arcteric, they tend to do things a little differently. Obviously the materials are top notch to start with and then to give you the maximum range of motion and that, that athletic fit slightly on the loose side just uh, there's a lot of gusseting a lot of I'd say a lot of um, different panels all stitched together to make each piece so there's a lot of a lot of manufacturing involved obviously that, that range of motion is nice the cost of it is very high uh, you know there's a lot of cheaper stuff that most of the time is going to do the job just as well but there's as with every market there's a low end there's a middle and there's you know there's a high end and there's the fucking premium shit and that's the that's the sort of uh, niche that Arcteryx fill, and uh, it is nice. But whether they're for you, that's for you to decide. Last thing to mention is uh, just the ankle pockets down here. You've got ten pockets overall throughout the trouser, and again, again this teardrop shape fill through. So uh, pockets about that large, and then got that on both legs. And uh, that is it for the main features. Uh, Arcterx Talos. Color wise, you've got the grey, the multi cam, and it's also where the crocodile, which is which is this sort of a color, it's basically a fucking fancy name for Coty Brown. Obviously they are a bit controversial, one might say, because of the because of the cost. Are they worth it? You know, are the cries better? Are you know, there's other brands that do various similar things for a bit less money that some might say is better. I just wanted to try them out really for myself, see, you know, given the cost. Like, I mean, I, I wanted the wolf anyway because I just wanted that particular color and I got a deal on the multi -kill. So like I say, I, I, want, I want to see what they're like, uh, see is, is the price, is it valid? You know, I can't, I can't do that just from looking at other people's reviews. I'll never really know for sure. So I've got to try them out for myself and see. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Any questions about anything you've seen on this video, please, uh, Swing by the Facebook page, give it a like, uh, and uh, ask those questions there. There's an uh, Instagram and Twitter link down there as well. Appreciate all the subscribers, all the thumbs up, all that good stuff. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.